All right, five beast mode fragrances, okay? That can give you 12 plus hours of projection on your skin, sillage, just wearability. I did a video a couple days ago where I named five from my personal collection. A real treat today here at Osme Perfumery in Miami, Maurice, the co-owner, is gonna give you a list of five that he recommends to give you 12 plus hours of projection on your skin, beast mode fragrances, find out what they are coming up next. Welcome back everybody to Joel The Nose here at Osme Perfumery. Filming a little bit, it's dark out, hopefully you can see with the light. Anyways, let's get right into this. I did a video the other day, which I think people seem to really like, is five fragrances from my personal collection that I get 12 to 15 hours, sometimes even more, upon wearing. And I'm talking about where you're smelling it, not just fading, but like strong. So today I'm here at Osme Perfumery, one of my usual spots, and Maurice, one of the co-owners, is here with me today, and he's gonna give five fragrances that he recommends. They're gonna give you 12, minimum 12 hours of strong projection and wearable, wearability on your skin. So Maurice, without further ado, welcome. Hi, how are you? Good, buddy, how you doing? Good to see you Good. again. All right, so get right in here, and uh, let's just get right into this. What are some five fragrances that you recommend that are like beast mode, 12 plus hour fragrances. Okay, uh, so one of the honorable mentions is Interlude Man from Amouage. Okay. That is beast mode. Um, honorable mention, Interlude Man. Yes. Herba Pura Ooh. is one that really does shine on the skin and it uh -huh. lasts for a very long time. Okay. If you don't like perfumes or shove, then put half a spray on. But if you are like myself who, you know, <laughs> like to create a nice scent bubble, then this is yeah. one that you would definitely want to. So let me hold this one up for everyone. So of course, a lot of you know this one. Actually, it's kind of dark, so it's hard to get in too close. Herba Pura from Serjoff. All right, I'll put that over here. All right. My number two is Fusion Sacri. Mm, um, love this one. Fusion Sacri is that, that clove, that spice, that burnt sugar, that fig, interesting, but again, beast mode. Yeah. I think I took up the wrong one. This is actually um, tender as I knew it, but the same bottle is, yeah. or, is uh, Fusion Sacri. So the, yeah, if you haven't seen the bottles here from Maj de Bacali, they have this similar, it's like almost a rock or a, like a flat stone with a wood top. So there you have it. Fusion Sacri from Maj de Bacali. Next. Uh, next is Kalan. Oh yeah. Beast, yeah. beast, beast mode. Yeah, I mean. Red bomber. You guys uh, have heard the story where he dared me to wear it and, and it's ever since then yeah, it's, crazy yeah. story. So this is Kalan. Kalan, all right, there we go. Yeah, man. All right, cool, cool. All right, uh, number four. All right. Is Sunshine from Amouage. Sunshine from Amouage. We got everything going on today. Hold on a second. Let me just. One of the perfumes that is just the, the spice, the incense, it's bold, it's, you know, in your face. It's Amouage. It's what they do. It is. I mean, I think almost all Amouage fragrances, mm -hmm. at least ones that I've worn, which is a lot of them, give me over 10 hours. But yeah, Sunshine Man. It's, it's, it's beast mode. Yeah, we have a story about this where one time I literally wore, I think it was three sprays of it? Yes. Three sprays of no, this. I think it was five. Was it five? Okay, all right, I take that back. Five sprays of this. I put it on before we went out one night to have some drinks after work, and he had sprayed, I think, about 50 sprays. 50 sprays of uh, something else. Just to see how much is too much, I like yeah. to push the boundaries just a little bit. And believe it or not, we went out for a drink and everyone was asking, Joel, what are you wearing? So yeah. it canceled out what I was wearing and this was the star of the show. With five sprays right there of Sunshine Man from Amouage. All right, great choice. And that leaves us with the last one, right? Last but All not right. least. All right, last but not least. Green Sapphire. Ooh. This is a big, bold, empowering perfume. It's like um, oud at 
it's most refined, but for some reason it, it, it laughs and laughs and laughs, it shouts. But in, it shouts in a very interesting way. Like it's not, it's not loud, but anyone yeah. that's in your presence, they will actually you know, be a part of your scent bubble for at least 12 to 13 hours. Let me show this one. And I, I think, so if you guys haven't seen it, it's kind of like a obviously green bottle, almost like an emerald green, beautiful bow to say a bottle. Um, I love what you, how you talk about this. This, from what I've seen, it creates a scent bubble that literally once people smell it and get it, it's like, it's like they're stuck to you. It's almost like a magnet. So it's like, it's almost like a scent magnet bubble. And then it just, if someone's walking by or you're with a group of people, they're all noticing you. True. Whether you want the attention or not. <laughs> yeah. So be careful who you wear it around because you may or may not get the attention of the person that you're trying to based on this fragrance. So quick story. So I had this on like a couple of days ago and I just went out casually for dinner. So I saw a friend of mine that I haven't seen in a while. Yeah. Um, so, you know, let me show you. So he, he was like this. Uh huh. Hey Maurice, how are you? Uh -huh. And then he held my hand and was like, can you do that again? And I'm like, what, what do you mean do that again? He's like, don't make it awkward. I just want to see what you smell like. <laughs> <laughs> you know, from a, I felt a little bit uncomfortable at, at first, but I'm like, all right, man, go ahead. He's like, whatever, whatever that is, I want you to, to show me what it is the next time I'm at your boutique. So he pretty much came in and he copped one. This is, and what's interesting is I've seen you, I've seen him firsthand now, you know, as you're here with customers, really talking about this a lot lately because it seems to be something that you obviously love. I mean. I do. Um, it's been one of my favorites for a while. Yeah. Um, I'm always changing what uh, I wear, yeah. depending on my mood and where I'm going and how I'm feeling. I don't really believe in a signature scent. I believe yeah. in a scent that I'm gonna be wearing to put me in a particular mood. Yeah. So um, this is kind of what I like to wear from time to time when I'm you know, feeling classy. By the way, I, I have a, a funny story of a friend of mine who actually was wearing this recently. Okay. And he was wearing it at uh, a gentleman's club. <laughs> oh, wow, okay. And um, suffice it to say, he was the guy getting all the attention from the ladies and it, it became almost an awkward thing for his friends because they're like, what in the world are you wearing? Why are you the one getting all the attention? Mm. And uh, you know, we're all, you know, here, we're all look good. We're all dressed up. We all got money to spend. This was the fragrance that he was wearing. So yeah, there you have it. So I, I had forgotten about that story until you brought this as one of your tw five beast mode fragrances. So yeah, yeah, anyways. Guys, try it out, try one of these five. They're all beast mode. Interestingly, I did a video the other day, I was mm. saying of f five beast mode from mine. Okay. And what I love the fact is we have five different ones. So okay. totally five different. And I didn't tell him which ones are mine because I wanted to see what he picked. And this is cool because we have different ones on our list, so. Yeah. You know what we should probably do next is we should do um, five fragrances that we disagree on. I think that Ooh, would be absolutely Yes, so yes. There, there is a particular note. Uh. That, um, when I smell it, um, I, I, I get what I get. But when Joel smells it, he, he doesn't get it at all. Yeah. And when it comes on to perfume, there's no right or wrong. It's kind of yeah, like... Totally. What you, what you, you are your own expert. Yeah. So you're, what you're smelling is based off of your experiences. Because yeah. memory is attached to a scent. So there might be a perfume that has incense. I may smell incense, but you may not. Mm -hmm. um, so it's always interesting to see the differences between, you know, what we may agree or disagree on. So we should Great do like five things that we disagree on next time. All right, guys, you see that that video is coming up. We'll do this one very soon. Five things that Maurice and I disagree on. Yeah. I think that's an awesome idea. So. Yeah. Cool. Well, thanks right. for joining me again. You're welcome. Appreciate it. Right. Guys, thanks for watching. Uh, I'll be back soon with another video. Peace, love, and perfume.